Okay, so here I am checking the connection on the Otter to my phone using the uh, Otter holder that I 3D printed. And luckily it gives you a couple of notes telling you whether to move it closer or not, which helps. At least for me, I find that I can spin this relatively fast. It seems to pick up uh, pretty good frame rates, even on the cell phone. Of course, being hooked up to a, a desktop, I'm sure would be better, but this works quite well for my needs. I'm just scanning kind of the top and the bottom. Of course, if I wanted to do a, a better job, I could scan higher and lower, but this is just a, a quick demonstration, mostly to show that this holder that I 3D printed works out pretty well and allows me to have a fair amount of portability so I can take it around and scan whatever I'm interested in. This is just showing the battery pack at the bottom, the hub I'm using for data and power transmission, the mount for the Otter, and then the universal cell phone mount. The cables will get cleaned up a little bit later. And this is a 3D printed model that I decided to scan. Uh, the turntable is nothing special. It's just a Lazy Susan that I found online for cheap. I wound up speeding up the computational times here by a factor of five. Uh, the whole thing start to finish in real time was less than five minutes, but I figured why have you wait for the computations. So this is just the, the mesh cloud, point cloud. And you can see on the top left, it walks you through the steps pretty easily. And it, appears to have gotten a fair amount of detail. Uh, obviously the orange parts, I'm, I'm missing the bottom because I, I didn't scan that. I could have turned the model over and scanned it to get something more complete. And for me, considering how quickly I was doing this, I think it's pretty good. Um, I've already been able to use it around the house and all my cars quite a bit and look forward to using it a lot more and hope you enjoyed the video.